Guys, I messed up. Well, kind of. I kind of messed up. Um, I sold too many vehicles to Zernoski. <laughs> there are too many personal cars in this area now. Um, I have been spending some time juggling how the traffic works, changing the lights, the timings of them all. It's helped considerably from what it was, but it's still congested in a lot of places. If it was nighttime, you'd see big rows and stuff. So I'm still in the process of making retrofits, still in the process of changing things up. So the dedicated right turn lane that was on this has just been removed. That's why the soil's disturbed. Um, I did that because I've decided to get rid of this cross street so that everyone here has to turn right anyway. And if I make it the one lane, then they never use this. And now they just queue up on one side, which isn't great. So I've got them. They're all going to queue up on this now. I've also added dedicated left turn lanes on this one here. And that is helpful. Uh, a lot of cars want to go straight. So they queue up here. And then some of them actually want to make U-turns. I still can't stop them from doing that. I really wish there was a no U-turns signal thing but I can't do that. So uh, they end up coming from this side and just making U-turns. Uh, I have the dedicated right turn lane here removed. And the reason for that, I, I didn't have to remove it. I, I changed the direction so that they wouldn't use it. But now I'm going to do this instead. So it looks, it looks a little bit better if I do this, I think. There we go. And then we'll just hit, say that I don't want you to do it. Okay, so just disabling it, you know, in case I want it again. Um, but the reason for that is because they will still turn right here, even when it's the left turn lanes time to come in. And because of that, they end up clogging this whole area. So when there's a dedicated left, I want these guys flowing. I don't want them stopping for anything. Get out, do the thing you need to do. And, and that's what I've been trying to get them to do. Uh, we do regularly see the ambulances come in and that will stop traffic like you just saw. It's because they have right of way as well. And so when the ambulances come in, these guys will stop in the middle of the road, which is terrible, but it's better than the ambulances having to wait for a long line of cars. So yeah, we're doing that. Uh, over here, I got a major construction project happening or a demo project happening. And I need to give these guys alternative routes uh, because I haven't done that fully yet. So we're going to take this road uh, we'll just come off of this intersection is fine. We'll just come straight out and then, uh, let's connect it to this road over here. We're just going to put it, uh, I basically just need detours. All right. So there we go. And then, uh, there's dirt paths through here to give them detours through this too. Uh, but we're tearing down this road. I am making, I think probably two roundabouts, but to start, I'm making this a roundabout. This has been a disaster. All these tiny roads all over the place. Everybody's always waiting for each other. I hate every single part of this. It's all terrible. We're changing it now. <laughs> um, and we're going to do that. This whole thing is gone. Um, from, from here over to here, it's all gone. Even this road. Uh, it's just going to disrupt farms, but it's getting to be winter. And so, like, as soon as it's winter and all these crops are dead, I don't care. I am seeing long lines of here. Now that the lights are off, you can kind of see. This road is very busy, but even though they're lined up, they're not... It's not at a total standstill. The lights do change and they have a long enough cycle to where most of that line does clear. It just takes longer than I'd like, but it does clear. This right here, same kind of difference, right? We have this light right here and you can see side six. If I scroll down, side six has a 30 second cycle with two. And uh, so that's like if they want to turn left here then two can get through too. So two will disrupt that and vice versa. Um, but then after that six and two, six gets a dedicated 15. And then two gets a dedicated 15, which I probably don't need that. But a lot of people use this road. This is surprisingly a busy road. I didn't anticipate that being a busy road, but it is like, I think it's just because all of these cars here that park here would rather leave out this side than to go this way. This road's almost never used. Most people are approaching from this side 
and and not this side which again has to do with the fact that we have the left turn lanes here and it it, it connects to this intersection and so they turn left here and that makes sense there's no reason to do a u-turn just to turn right here so one of the things i could do here is just kind of force it right do the one the one-way streets system and force them to come down this road turn right here and then go left here and we'll have more cars heading this way i actually don't think it would be all that many more cars but it, it, it might it's honestly it's probably going to increase the number of people that turn left here instead of going straight so it, it's it, it's a big thing right? i'm trying to figure that out and it's backing up into this road here too and so what i'm going to do here to try to fix this a lot of these cars want to turn right onto this road and it's it's like i want to say half half the cars that come down through this area turn right onto here so i'm going to try to fix that we're going to give them uh, a light first we're going to get rid of these road signs because they're going to be in the way and same thing on this side too in a second all right so here's the here's the deal i've been testing this out you know kind of trying to figure out how i want to do this and um hey frame rates can i have you back there i'll just pause um i can't do this this gas station is just long enough to where it blocks passage through here and it's annoying so annoying but that's just how it went i could have moved it just a hair this direction and it would have been fine i thought i left enough room i mean i looked at the thing and said yeah there's enough room for this but no not enough room for that so how we have to do it is we're gonna go like this nope here let's start on this side uh we're gonna find where we can go where's the limit nope not there right there probably right there yeah right here is about as close as we can go okay this is gonna come all the way across the tracks and round up like this and then you're gonna connect like that then we need you to connect in here and you see how that's like it's curving out i can go really wide with that i can stretch it way out there like this and now i'm hoping what will happen is that because i was able to extend that even further i'm hoping i can connect uh, this a road that does this right and have that go right into there straight in and it doesn't want to do oh there it goes got it okay good Whew. all right now on this side right after this street which i shouldn't have put too close to the roundabout but i did it uh this is gonna come off this way and then we're gonna connect it to this road like this this is a gas station road and then from here we connect to there all right we're gonna build that that's gonna create a very good bypass from this road get around the roundabout you don't have to enter it don't have to slow it down uh, because if I didn't pause right now, sometimes, you know, these cars, they want to come around. These guys right through here, they want to come straight, all that stuff. We want to avoid all of that and just have everyone coming from this side. And there are a lot of them to be able to take this and come up here if they want to. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if there's something I can do. I mean, it, the reason why they're doing that, right, is because I made these roads. I mean, I, I didn't. I mean, I didn't make them entirely one way. This, you, you come through here and then you, you cross, but apparently they don't want to do that to get to these guests, get to these stations. So they're just wrapping themselves around into here, but that's just what they want to do. So yeah, it's, if I unpause it, eventually these really long lines do, you know, find a way you're confused. It's probably because I just deleted roads. Yeah. You don't know what to, you don't have a clue where you want to go. I'm just going to, I'm going to home you. Anyway, so there's that. That's all happening in Zernoski. Lots of traffic stuff, modifications and stuff changing in Zernoski. It's going to take a while, but it's going to be worth it. Uh, in the meantime, the experiment continues. <laughs> uh, I still haven't... I, I, I'm still wanting a roundabout here and a roundabout here, uh, a roundabout here. Like, I would love to have three roundabouts through here and to do it in a way where, you know, maybe even use... Honestly, we could use tunnels we could use tunnels i might experiment with like having a, a one end of the city to the other tunnel that would help a lot too um a lot of this traffic that you're seeing right here isn't like this usually it's only like this now because everyone here is turning right 
so they can come up this way because of the detour this this road shut down so like they can't go through here but normally they'd be going through here and this would be chaotic and this would be relatively tame but while this is going on this is crazy bad right but it's not usually this bad it's like what happens when this is just what happens when there's construction in the area basically all right i'm gonna leave that alone started the first 10 minutes of my video with zernoski's update but i i have to show you that you know when you sell too many personal cars this is what happens and uh, i'm working on fixing it all right it's gonna take a while but i'm working on fixing it over here let's take a look at the farms that we had set up before huh so here's how my farm setup is gonna go and i've had helicopters as well as uh charlie business's road crews out here constantly for the entire year pretty much and uh we have the Corno large farm right here. And unfortunately, I mean, I guess it's just the way it goes, but I could have turned off auto search and it wouldn't have been a problem. But I, I put these construction offices here so that I could, you know, work with the terrain. And I, I, you know, I've got it. Okay. I got all these fields in here too, right? And that's, that's not bad. Um, and I've been, I've been, you know, bringing this back. It takes some time, but I've been bringing it back. I think I'm only going to bring it back to probably about here i'm gonna leave this alone i, I do want to respect the topography a little bit like i i don't i don't want to just like flatten everything it takes forever to do that and it's just not worth it to do that but what i'm hoping to have here is a like a square I'm, I'm really hoping to have like basically this area here it comes into a corner and then it comes straight down so i'm going to kind of pull this back to about there it's not that's not, not too, that's not too bad um, I do also want to bring this back to the border, though. I, I I probably will do that. So not not totally respecting topography there, but it's um it is what it is. I'm not gonna pull this back anymore, though. This is a big old big old mountain, and we want to leave it where it is. But I have uh, F2 on right now, so you can kind of see where the terrain is. And uh, yeah, this is where I am. But I say unfortunately, you know the excavators, right? They've they decided to auto search, and they come in here. So my four excavators that I have been using from these offices, they're just doing this now. So that's not great. Um, I'm going to have to, because I made construction offices instead of road depots, because I'm out of road depots. Anyways, no auto search for you. Uh, anyway, so I got the roads here. A lot of these are gravel, and that's fine. And what I'm trying to do is discourage normal traffic from using them. Uh, and then we have the two main roads right here. Hello, track builder. Let's... Oh, no, they've been building this. Oh, don't build this. No, no, no. Whoa, are you done? I can't click this. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Is this like a separate section now or what? No, I don't want these done. Damn. Well, I mean, I guess the rail's doing this now. I mean, I can break it down, but I mean, it's a, it's an okay curve. I wasn't certain on the curve, but it's an okay curve. Right? Coming around there that way. Uh, what I want you to do, though, is this. Uh, this. Yeah, so you have it. It's on the office. Good. It's on your agenda. Uh, this is done all the way here, and it's all electrified as well. It doesn't have any power, at least not yet, because I don't think it does. Maybe it does. I don't know. Uh, there's obviously giving me some signals here, so I don't think it has power. Uh, the one thing I didn't do, and I should have done because it's like right here. All the power sources are like right here, is I should have put one of those connectors here so that we could, uh, you know, add more power to the setup. I have this uh, convenient power station right here. I really could have done that. It just they built it so damn quick, and I wasn't paying attention. So I tell you what, I I, I want to do that. So I'm gonna cancel the railway. Let's say right. Let's cancel it here. We'll go like, I think like this. From there to, hmm, let's. I want to snap to yeah from here to there let's get rid of this rail i'll have to come over to our office right over here here we go and we're gonna zoom in right we sorry about the camera there uh we're gonna do ahead go ahead and do this and get that high up on their schedule hopefully and we'll just tear this down right now which is obviously going to cut off access to the rest of this but i could then put in a connection for more power into the rail because the thing is like i've got what three different places where i'm connected to power right now and that's cool but we're gonna add more trains 
we're probably going to have at any given time 12 to 15 trains on the tracks like total and honestly like that's probably the minimum number of trains that will be on the tracks ongoing I don't know exactly how much power those that many trains takes but uh I'm I mean I'm gonna be spending on you know the good ones and uh they take a lot of power so I just want to be prepared and I figure like we're right here next to a power source anyway I might as well tap into it so that's what we'll do instead so this office is gonna or it's gonna do this well that's something you can do I guess it is part of the job so go for it but I uh, you're gonna get confused coming back home anyway since there's no crossover and I, I keep having to babysit that anyway anyway yeah so we have the uh the roads coming through here and then instead of a roundabout or anything like this we have the standard Michigan left setup going here so there's no intersection here instead you turn right and then you take this left turn lane to t and you go over here and then you go into here so that's kind of like your you turn right to turn left kind of thing right or turn left yeah you turn right to turn left yeah, yeah. so if you're coming from this side and you want to get on that road you have to turn left and then you're going to turn right to turn left right your, your your right hand turn you get it anyway uh and then same thing on this side too we got the left hand turn lane stuff i'm loving the left turn lanes left hand turn lanes have been a godsend for lots of traffic stuff that i've done in this game all right so maybe an unconventional way of doing traffic in the game but it has been so good to have that i think my next project i did left hand turn lanes here too see so good uh my next project i think though for heavy traffic if it gets worse and it sometimes does get pretty bad is to get a tunnel that heads from this direction to this direction it's just really difficult to make this left turn and it ties up a lot of the other traffic because they have to wait if i can alleviate this by having most of these vehicles which most of these vehicles do go all the way around the roundabout and want to turn left if i can somehow stop that from happening regularly that would be great and a tunnel i think would do a really good job at stopping that happening stopping that happening hi you know i'm not entirely convinced we have fire trucks in the area that can get here in time you know it look good thing you're at 16 percent wear and tear because if you were higher than that i would be really worried about this but let's see what happens they should be able to go oh the road's on this side okay good I thought they'd have to come over into here but they don't it's right here all right good 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 that's fine because if you had to come into here then I guess you would have taken the tunnel and it would have been a little bit longer of a drive for you to do that but I guess you're gonna get there in time cheers all right let's take a look really quick uh money is actually doing quite well again because our oil boats did actually reach their destination and did actually sell it which gave us the dollars necessary to purchase more bauxite and so we do have a full boat on its way back now with three other boats filling up so yeah my life now with this game is kind of this <laughs> at least for a little while it's it's not the most fun thing I've ever done but it's something that needs done right this is something I can do I load this up usually with uh when I have to do a lot of this stuff like with the big lake that's way over there right um I I loaded this up uh, upstairs while I was uh, watching my daughter my my daughter was uh she loves Elmo it's it's a thing she's a dick an actual addict uh it, she comes home from daycare or when she wakes up from her nap or anything she will run over she knows the the few places that we where we hide the remote she knows what the power button does now she's not even two years old this is just this is just what she knows all right she knows how to turn it on uh the apple tv and uh if youtube is the highlighted app on on startup on, on the boot right because sometimes you have different apps and stuff that are there uh if if youtube is the uh the active app she will open it and mm, yeah, i would say half the time she's able to just start elmo <laughs> she can just start sesame street uh because you know the our youtube app on our on our television is mostly used for the kids youtube so it's like it's logged into the kids account for youtube and it just it's there so she's she's all about that sesame street right now 
And uh, I'm all for it, man. Sesame Street's a good influence for kids. I like that. That's a good thing. I, I watched Sesame Street when I was a kid. It's great that way. And she loves Elmo. So she's all about Mo. She calls it just Mo. Mo, Mo, Mo. That's that's her right now. So anyway, I'll do this while I turn that on. I'll, you know, it gives me like a half hour, 45 minutes. Sometimes that long. Not, not always that long, but usually about a half an hour of her just not asking for things not begging for attention for a little while just watching elmo and i'm i'm like cool i'll just boot up my cloud save and uh do this while i'm watching her <laughs> in case you're looking for an update on warstock here uh and then a lot of these buildings right now are just down to nothing but work days uh, which was the idea. So we're trying to get all these buildings down to nothing but work days. Uh, and then we can just, again, we flip on the switch. We, we, we bring some people in on some, uh, some of these houses and then they swarm to the other buildings and rapidly complete them. And that's great. Uh, I think I am going to, uh, change how this is. And, uh, we're going to have the water, I think come right off of the police station here we should be able to connect to this road like this yeah uh, i was worried about this getting in the way but as long as i have that connection point we're good so uh, i think i am going to add a larger water processing here water treatment facility here a big one and so it fits right in this spot here <clears throat> and uh we're gonna want it to come like we need to figure out where the well is gonna be I haven't figured that out yet. It's I, I think probably over here. It's just going to have to be a really big uh, pipe. And honestly, it, it still needs workers too. The well needs workers. So that's going to be interesting. I might have to have... Well, I might have to have just really low quality water coming in and just extra chemicals is pretty much what I'm thinking here. Um, all the chemicals get delivered to that warehouse right there. So they're going to be brought over to this facility. And so knowing that actually, maybe it works better to have this more over here instead of in here. You could put something else in here. Like my cinema. I bet my cinema would work in here. Yeah, it sure would. It sure would. Right there, too. It would it would fit everybody. I probably will do that instead, to be honest. Because the chemicals come from this location. At least they will. Uh, the rail is done. Fantastic. And that means we can bring... I, they already started it. God, they're so fast. Already started bringing construction materials out this way. Now, we didn't have steel brought here because this office no longer does steel. No, it doesn't. This office is the office that does steel. So I'm going to take this. going to connect all the way over here. There we go. Nope. Wrong side. Uh, like that. And we're going to tell you... To unload steel. You can just keep that 60%. That's fine. And now they'll spawn a train. That'll bring the steel over this way. Alright. So that means we can have construction offices. Located local over here now. And I can go in and take for example my temporary ones. And I can put that in here. Or I could just have a permanent one. Which I think is probably better right. I mean we're going to be building a lot of stuff over here. Especially over there. We're going to need it. Um, so I'm thinking uh, a more permanent local construction office could be in order. And the question really is where to put it. Because I, I need it close to the supply, but it's this is like interfering with all my people. I guess technically I, I don't want to have a whole lot of people over here because of the pollution. So maybe this is a, a good spot for it after all. And then they'll just have to choose which road they want to take to get to their location. They're most likely going to go this way and then get and turn around. I'd like to avoid that. But there is no avoiding that. Unless I was to place this maybe here. I got this distribution office with no trucks in it because they're all busy. It's the harvest season, right? So, I don't know. I don't really want to put them over here because then it's just like a long drive to get here. But I don't really have much of a choice. Like, I have to choose something right and i guess you know maybe if i if i put them here they'll come across this and then they'll be in here and not on the road 
maybe that'll work. This was going to be a one-way, though, so I guess I'll just do the left turn lane thing instead. Yeah, let's do that. Plus, it'll be it'll be a dirt road, so it, people will be disincentivized to use it. Maybe I make it gravel through here, though. All right, tell you what, I, I think I think this is a fine thing. We're just going to make this happen. We're going to say, should we do a 24 office instead? Man, make this a big one. Wow, that's, that's a lot of space. But this is a little farther away. I, I really should put it as close to the food factory as possible. This is where this should go, because this is where we're not going to have people, right? So I think maybe we'll do it something like this. Something like... As soon as that dot turns green, right? No, really? Oh, there it goes. Right there. All right, big construction office in this area. We'll build that too. Let's get this hooked up with a gravel road to here. That's pretty good, actually. I like that little spot. This area here, I think... I think we should make this gravel. I made this already. This is already... Uh, asphalt though all right tell you what this will be asphalt uh and it goes down this way but this is gonna be gravel just disincentivize cars from using it and so that can be more likely for my construction vehicles to use it instead we'll have this come come all the way down like this and then uh you know what nah, there's no way to make this a one way really unless i do asphalt here so i guess we'll do asphalt there too okay so that's how we're going to expand this and have construction office. And I want that as soon as possible. So I'm going to allow the workers to come here as well. Uh, we can probably put Zernoski's office on it once it's done. But zernoski has got other things to do, man. zernoski has got the demo office, especially. He's got other things to do. Where is it? Where is it? Right over here. Uh, okay. So most of what I told them to, to, to destroy is done. But this isn't done yet. And these are two separate projects because I did that. Yeah. So I have to get to get this done uh let's start pulling we'll get this taken out back to here oh all right hold on right to here auto save oh, come on now here try this now can i do it please thank you okay That'll cut this. Now they have to use this road as a bypass, which is fine. This road is done too. We're going to pull this back. Pull that back all the way to there. There we go. Um, we still have this crossing, which we need for the for construction crews. And they should be able to still reach the gas station. But I kind of don't care about this road. So let's get rid of that. And then I think I can dump this now. I think I just dump this and uh, dump this. Make this a two-way, and then that's still fine. All right, so we'll de we'll demo demo this stuff here next. Uh, where's my my demo offices? Do I have to manually select them? I don't want to do that. Right here is the Zernoski demo office. You only got four vehicles. Isn't there a better one? All I have are the two. Really? That's really lame. You guys are on auto search though, right? Let's let's crank that up to three K just in case. Yeah, with explosives. I don't want you using explosives. We got the time. We sell explosives. We don't use them. We can. It's just a bunch of mixed waste instead of having the individual components, which I guess is fine. I have a sorter, but whatever. Speaking of sorting garbage, let's check in on that. See how that's going. Uh, so over here, we've got uh, crews. I've had these guys working on getting asphalt here. So now this whole thing is asphalt. And since every single road is asphalt here, I can make this a light and govern who goes where if it gets bad but honestly i should probably just tear it all out again and do and do uh roundabouts too so i'll probably do the roundabouts over there first then uh we'll see how this goes i think this is probably going to need it as well then we'll do that one if if so otherwise we're going to shift focus over here and we'll get this roundabout going and i'll probably tear out yeah there's enough room here i was going to tear out this but i think i'll leave this and to just make the roundabout right here it could be okay i mean maybe i don't know i gave them this i gave them this road anyway so there's a bypass so i honestly i could tear this out and be fine just they wouldn't have access to the gas station for a while but that's okay uh how are we doing biological waste is good this is pretty much empty hazardous is good uh over here 
let's check the plastics factory because plastics was yeah plastics was complaining so we actually have hazardous waste built up here because this isn't getting picked up i'm not sure why this isn't getting picked up but i saw that earlier and i was gonna fix it and i just haven't gotten to it um so that's this one's full too so they apparently were never picking this up there's just not any garbage trucks in this area i guess we'll fix that so let's take technical service office let's grab uh can i do a free one a free one would have been nice to just do this right now but all right um let's get how many vehicles do we want here this is the regular one this is the too big one i think a four would be okay i want to use the i haven't used the little one yet so i think i'll use the little one here we'll pop it down right here let's get a gravel road no big deal well i have it angle this way eh, doesn't matter that they come in or they leave it's the same thing we'll do that let's get the helicopters to work on that as well and we can make that a high priority so we can get that done because right now we're not making any plastics and that's the reason why there's oh well, i mean that's probably i 100 guarantee that these guys are sitting around picking their nose right here no plastic no plastic yeah and honestly this is probably going to stop produce, producing student too there's only 21 tons of plastic in there which is actually quite a bit for the, the sake of these cars I mean, 21 tons of plastic goes really far. It's only 0 0.047 for each of these cars. So we can make a lot of cars out of 21 tons of plastic. But it's still, uh, still a thing we got to do. So get that cleared out. Uh, I'm going to bring the 38 tons that this tr train has right now. 39 tons. Bring that out. And uh, yeah, that's kind of it, man. I just need the garbage trucks to get in here. I'm not sure why they're not doing that. It's a really strange thing to not have that happening already. It's like they should be picking this up. It's possible that I guess all the technical service offices that I have in the area, I should probably put another one over here. Even you can get on the road and then go down wherever you need to go. I'm going to do that. I want, I want more. Uh, we're going to do the 15 office fit here. That would actually be sweet because this office could represent, could also work with the airport. Because we need plows and stuff for that, too. I kind of want it to be right in this little area, which it looks like it's going to fit, but then the road won't connect. So I think I'll just put it off to the side instead. It'll be over here instead. Uh, right like this. Right like that. That's fine. Give us a little bit of room, right? Plus, it's still in range of power, albeit just that wind turbine, but it's still in range of some power. And then we'll go like this with this gravel road. And then this is going to end up being a gravel road all there. But we won't do that yet. But that'll end up being a gravel road eventually, too. All right. Let's get the Krasna office to do the gravel roads so it can use that gravel. Make sure that Krasna office is doing that. Um, and then I can have the Krasna office do, office do this, too. Yeah, I'll have them deliver resources to this. They're not going to deliver workers, but they'll deliver resources to that. All right. Uh, one last thing I wanted to show you. Uh, I have started to, I, I do want to get started on, you know, showing you the buildings and starting getting resources delivered and working on the plumbing and stuff that that stuff has to be done. But until I'm good with the current projects, like Zernoski's super busy. So no on builders. Um, Charlobin's office is all about this right now. All the helicopters are on everything. It's just too busy. So I'm, I'm just going to wait a little bit longer. Um, but we'll start with the power infrastructure up to the substations because I basically we'll build we'll build everything that doesn't require maintenance that'll be what we build first we'll plan everything so we know where it's all at but only the stuff that doesn't take maintenance will be built first like the pipes and the power cables and well yeah that's it just pipes and power cables pretty much i guess roads are kind of done right so i guess that's it that's what i was doing first here i'm also using these walls right so this big old wall here it kind of looks pretty good it's all connected to this i mean other than the you know maybe low res textures but other than that it looks pretty good it's right up against this looks nice and then it comes all the way underneath this and it's right under underneath that kind of dips down a little bit and then picks itself up and then it's connected right here there's a, maybe a tiny gap there but eh, not really so cool wall I'm doing a more classy wall over here, though. And it's not built yet because nobody can get to it except the helicopters. But uh, they managed to get to this because it's hooked up to a path. So they built this gate, right? There's a cool gate. It opens. 
towards the building, which is very cool, really cool. And then I thought about putting a gate here too, but I just, it didn't really get to it and it doesn't really matter because there's no wall here. So whatever, but this is nifty. I like this gate. This gate has wear and tear. I didn't know that when I built it, but it does. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's a wall queued up here, a brick wall this way, all the way over to the highway. So it just kind of like stops at the highway wall, right? Kind of like, uh, connecting to this wall kind of thing. And then all the way over on this side, same thing. It's going to come down and it's going to connect to this wall kind of thing. And so we'll have a brick wall right there. I think that's going to look good. I don't know what, I don't really know what it will look like. I, I just kind of laid in the plans for it, but I think it looks going to look good. Uh, you might also notice there's a little bit of work happening here, right? Some resources have been delivered to these buildings. Huh? Some resources have been delivered to these buildings. Hmm? 229 con tons of concrete, 176 of gravel, and 141 of asphalt already delivered to the big building. It's just workers now, and then they start on the major construction with almost 1,600 tons of bricks and almost 200 tons of steel. 21,000. I mean, it's, it's just everything, right? But we don't need the labor on that right now. We're going to wait till it's, you know, again, I'll get all the stuff that doesn't take maintenance first because that building, very expensive to maintain. We definitely don't want to build it soon. All right. So I need to work on this stuff some more. I will bring you guys back in probably in like 2016. <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to take, but I really don't want this video to be like, you know, I, I want some progress done on this video and it would be really nice to have actual farming happening in March so that I can get the trains connected to bringing meat, uh, sorry, bringing crops over here and getting the meat industry to be a lot more active. It would be great. We are making livestock in the fall because we take the crops. So like as long as we're farming and we can actually have crops, then we, you know, we have livestock, which allows us to have meat, which allows our train aha, to fill up. There it is. The train was just sitting right here earlier. It allows the train to fill up but it's still not enough it's just too little too late it's not going to keep us full so we are still buying it but as long as we have our bauxite trade wow this storm's cool also it kills my frame rates as long as we have our bauxite trade though we're more than fine um i mean we're you can see it we're killing it as long as we're selling bauxite we're killing it all right uh and doing that trade uh, it, it did take two oil boats to uh you know, get us enough dollars right away. Cause it just was like, I don't know. They're, they're bunched up. I need the boats to not be so bunched up Man, that the rain is terrible. Isn't it? Oh no. Don't tell me. Oh, actually it's a good thing. You, you let me know this because, uh, otherwise I would have let these guys just sit here all day. I can't believe they haven't done this yet. I mean, it's cool that they're able to bypass it and just you know, continue the rail. I'm all right with the progress. We, we don't need this right away or anything, but, uh, you know, just, I thought once I marked it for demolition, you wouldn't be able to traverse it anymore, but that apparently is not true. That's not how that works. So yeah, we got a long ways for this to go. Um, but I would like to start seeing farming in the, in the spring. So I am accelerating all things farm so that I can get the tractors ready to go in March. And then, uh, hopefully by the end of the year, when it comes time to harvest it, we'll have this done. They can start putting crops in here. And then hopefully shortly after that, we'll have all the rest of the infrastructure done, like the rails and such, uh, to be able to pick it up and take it where we need to go. Probably the rails will get done in time. I don't know. Um, but they probably will.
All right, so I've almost finished rounding around this mountain here to get my final field in place. It is the winter time. It is snowing regularly, right? And let me just see if I can do the height from center here. This might just, this might be enough. We'll just bring it in like this and probably call it good. Just a bit like this. And I'll show you what I've got worked up here in a second. It totally didn't wait a year to bring you back. It's still the same year. I just can't help it. I got to show you things. I just, I, I, look what I did, guys. I got to, I got to do it. I'm like, I'm, like, I'm like a child. All right. So obviously there's a little bit more place than the last time you uh, were here. So let me go through it. They just finished the farm. Which is why I'm bringing you back now. Because if they hadn't done that, then there'd be nothing to show you. So, uh, this just brought back the farm. This road is also done, I believe, all the way up. It should have been. I only had like three days left in it. Yeah, it's done. Okay, so this road is done. And I've connected it with a dirt road that goes all the way over to the border over here. So, when we buy our farm vehicles, they should now go this way to go to the farm. Instead of going all the way slowly through all of this traffic. So they should stay out of the way and come through here, okay? All right, so here's what we're going to do. First thing I want to do is I want to buy a tractor. I want to buy 15 of them, actually. Now, this one goes 34 kilometers an hour. This one goes 34, and this one goes 30. We're going to buy the 30 one. The sewing speed is a little bit faster at level 28, which is I like. So it's like the fastest one to work that way. It travels slower, but this is what I want. Because if I choose a tractor that can go 34 kilometers per hour, this tractor will choose roads that are not the mud road. I want the tractors to stay on the mud roads, okay, as long as possible. This tractor will choose gravel roads over a mud road because they choose the slowest road in which they can reach their maximum speed. So if I choose this tractor here at 30 kilometers per hour, its maximum speed is the same as the mud road. It should choose that over choosing my gravel roads. And so let me show you why that's relevant. So I, over here, I've got a situation where, you know, this is pretty much exclusive to tractors and stuff. So like, whatever, I don't care about traffic here, but as they cross over here, there's a mud road here that's going to let these guys go over top of this highway and move towards these other fields. There's a lot of that going on. These roads for these fields are gravel right here. I might choose to make them asphalt eventually, but they're gravel for now. This one's asphalt, actually, uh, because it's coming off of the main junction right here. Yeah. So this is asphalt here too. Uh, this is doing the same thing. We have an asphalt road right here and a gravel road right here. Okay. The idea is, uh, and on this side, it's, it's gravel or asphalt and then a mud road next to it. All right. And the idea is if there is a tractor or a harvester moving this direction, I don't want it to interfere with the trucks. So as harvesters are moving around, specifically harvesters, I think are probably the, the bigger threat here because they tend to be moving around at the same time the trucks are picking up crops, right? If the harvester is on this road, it's going to slow everybody else behind him. But the harvester will choose the lowest quality road in which he can still reach his maximum speed. And that is this mud road. So what should happen is the harvester will deviate, come off onto the mud road and continue this way while all the trucks can use this one. And then once this is done, I'm not going to do it yet, but once this is done, we will then have these fields connected like they are here to these fields. We're going to have these also connect to the fields uh, on the other side. So these ones here, uh, no, not this side. It'd be the other side. Yeah, it's this one here. This one here, it has its back turned to it. So it doesn't really matter. I'm mostly just looking at harvesters moving over here and then just getting out of the way. Right, and I may do a mud road up this side too. I haven't decided yet that that could actually work really well. So I might do that too, just to kind of give them another path that they can take. But I'm trying to get harvesters and tractors out of everybody else's way. Over here, same thing. This is a gravel road. And I don't want, if I do, if I choose a tractor that can go 34 kilometers, he cannot reach 34 on this road. It's only maximum 30. So he will choose this road. 
And that's not what I want. So I'm hoping that the tractor will use this road. And then I will connect like this. And then I will come across. Is this done? Not done yet. Um, then I will come across and connect like that too. On all of these. Okay. Because they're directly across from each other. And uh, well, not this one. This one's a little different. But uh, because these are two medium fields. And then this one's a large field. We have six medium fields here four medium fields here that's 10 and then another five right here for a total of 15. we do that as discussed before because these tractors can begin their work whoops nope i want this one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen tractors okay they can begin their work on the tank of gas that they have and they will be able to move to their next location without refueling and then they can work that entire field before having to refuel uh, even though they if they arrive with like one unit of fuel in there they will work the entire thing before they get exit and then go for fuel again so that's why we're doing the 15 mediums first and then the large ones because they can do a medium field and move to a new one before having to refuel okay uh so that's the tractors the harvesters are easier because there are no harvesters that can travel you know, like over 30 kilometers an hour this is the this is the best harvester in the game the combine e512 and it is only a maximum speed of 24 kilometers per hour so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen Aha, I can't click again. I must have counted correctly. All right, so 15 harvesters, 15 tractors. They're all going to be heading down this road uh, at some point. Uh, no way. No way. Why would you do that? You could... Oh, my gosh. You're using this road anyway. Why would you do that? Is it really faster for you to go this direction? You're going to go all the way over here, down this, down this mountain... And then you're going to cross over here and then go this way to the farm. Is that really, is that really faster than taking this dirt road that I made you? It must be right. Otherwise you would be taking the dirt road. I made you hold on. Let me make you a new one. <laughs> like seriously, come and take this dirt road. Go this way instead. Please turn down that road and go this way instead. I don't want you to go and mess up the traffic over there. I mean, it's not a huge deal, but it's... I just felt like this was closer. Apparently, it's not. All right, well, whatever. Anyway, uh, I've been moving this mountain back because I want to get another field in here. So I want to go with right here. There we go. We're just going to line it up with this one. Seems pretty good. And we should be able to get this in right here. And you can see the dirt road next to it, right? So it will uh, just let me make sure we're actually lined up. Is this straight? Looks pretty straight. Yeah, that looks pretty straight. We'll go right about what, there. Right there, I think. Good enough for me. There we go. And then there's other bypass roads too. So this road here, this little dirt road, that's intentional. We're keeping that just so any vehicle that can use it can get out of the way for other vehicles in, in the meantime uh same thing with this one over here we got these guys coming in from these fields they're going to be heading up this road potentially holding up traffic as they come to here i want them to be able to cross get out of people's way and then head this direction okay now there's also a distribution office here so we're not going to leave this mud this will end up being gravel right here but then mud everywhere else well tell you the truth i'll probably go gravel here and then gravel to connect to this and then this will be just remain mud um but yeah this is this is as far as i'm gonna take this mountain i'm gonna leave it alone i want to respect the topography a little bit but i need a little bit more space so that's what we got going on there uh, and i think we've got enough space for one on this side man that is close i am gonna i'm gonna pull that back just a little bit more because i i think it's gonna interfere with that field and i would actually really like to get a road that goes on this side of the field that would actually be a good idea to get a road that goes on this side around the mountain so maybe i will pull this back just a little more yeah this should be good 
should be. All right, let's let's test this. We're gonna take a field right here, flip it around. Want to line it up with this one? Seems pretty good. And then we'll come on down over here, put our little front dot right in the right spot, right about like that. That is so close. Ooh, definitely needed to scoot it back, but I don't know if there's gonna be enough room for my road. Let's test that. Where's my road gonna go? Yeah, there's enough room for that road. Beautiful. Yep, that road's going right there. And then you come all the way down and connect on this side like so. So it's really tight to the farm, but I like it. And then this road can then continue on this direction to meet up with whatever road will be behind these fields. Main roads, roads where trucks have to go fast and stuff, those roads usually, not always, but usually those roads will butt up against the back of fields. So nobody is like entering and exiting uh, into the fields from those main roads. And I'm hoping that allows for more fluid motion for the faster vehicles like the trucks, which can travel more than 60, 60 kilometers an hour. Um, yeah, otherwise, this is our field. This is our farm area. We have a repair station here. This is a medium-sized repair station. It is hooked up in range to cater to the vehicles from the farm, as well as both of these distribution offices. So a lot of these trucks are going to get repaired that way. And then the repair trucks that are here will then move out to the various different distribution offices to repair the trucks uh, as needed. But the bulk of the vehicles, namely the farm vehicles, they are going to be catered to uh, directly by hooking this up like this. Okay. And then I've got this little fuel storage bit right here. This is for liquid fertilizer if we ever choose to use it. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but it's hooked up here anyway. And so what we can do is I can put a, uh, like a loading unloading kind of like right over here. I was thinking of doing this right here. We go, uh, yeah, oil loading or liquid fertilizer is part of this. And we just have it be like somewhere like over here, right next to this. You'd probably be fine with me. And then that would feed into this tank. That way I don't need my fuel trucks to just come all the way in here. In fact, it'd probably even be better to sort of allow that to happen over here so that those trucks don't even have to cross the tracks or interfere with this dump with claw machine. Uh, and the rail, this is going to be where we receive the solid fertilizer. Yes, we're finally going to use more solid fertilizer. And so we're building this rail. It goes like this. It bypasses uh, this, so this doesn't matter to this drain. Uh, and then to come back, it then jumps onto this track in the middle of the intersection and goes. And there's enough room here, of course, for it to stop right here. So if one train is coming in while the other one is leaving... I don't think that'll ever happen, but I'm leaving that option open. So we could have two trains next to each other like that. Uh, yeah, power hookups are pretty self-explanatory. They're all coming from this side and being fed into here and then underground to this substation, which can reach everything. And then underground to this substation, which can reach everything over here. Gas station next to another distribution office. Uh, we have a gas station right here on this side. Right here is the fire station with the helicopter pad. Remember that? And then as we come down here, we have another gas station right here on this side next to this road and this little intersection area. There's another gas station over here on this side, just in case people want to use this one instead, followed by another distribution office that's closer to these fields. And then as I pull this back, we'll have probably two more big fields on each side. But in between those, I'm going to have a distribution office here and another gas station here. And that way, everybody can just fuel up wherever they are. That, that's going to be great. I like it. Let's get rid of you. I keep having to babysit the trains because there's nowhere for them to turn around. Uh, they still have not done this, by the way. They're just ignoring that task. I'm probably going to have to, you know, take all the other building tasks away from them in order to get them to do that. Uh, but yeah, that's that. That's my fields. That's my, my farming setup here. So I'll let it run just a little bit more and then we can see it running. Uh, and then we need to talk about, you know, getting the crops over here because this entire arrangement here if we if we have more crops than we can use for meat and i suspect it's possible but unlikely given that we can produce a lot of crops over here we'll most likely be able to keep the meat industry running at full speed with all of these buildings so like we'll build the second half too we'll probably be able to handle that um if that's the case 
then I won't need these fields. And I can actually use this for something else. And at that point, I will definitely move this heater back probably over here. It will require me to use pumps to get it over into this area, but that's okay because it will also enable me to have my nice neighborhood that I want right here with my big tall skyscrapers and my lovely walking paths and decorations and uh, all sorts of things I've got that wrap around this roundabout. And I, I really want that. So I am, good. I am still looking to move this. And I don't think I'd have to move coal. I don't really want to move coal because it's getting dropped off. Everything's like hooked up to the rail already. So most likely this would just get deleted. This would move back. And then this would instead just using the conveyors would then, you know, be pushed around over to this. I'd just use the conveyors to do it. But if we can get that those fields up over there to have enough crops to satisfy all the needs for this livestock, then I, again, I can I can delete this. I don't need it. I'll leave these so we have a local supply anyway, because um, it's I'm not really going to use this area for anything else. It provides a good cushion between, you know, maybe I'll maybe I'll have the population expand out to here or something, and that's about it, you know. But if I go any more this direction with anything, then it's going to be too close to the heater anyway, because I'm moving the heater back. So it's it's kind of like I can leave this open. It's probably fine. Um, and that's all nice and neat with the fields being so perfectly aligned and all that. So, yeah, but these ones, these were always supposed to be temporary and I've, they've turned them into something that's a bit more permanent than I wanted. Yeah. All right. I'm going to let it run for a little while. I'm going to focus on my construction projects over here. And, uh, once farming begins, I'll, uh, I'll bring you back in. Also, I just want to point out that while the tractors and harvesters did ultimately decide to go this way and, uh, it's cool to like watch them go in a row like this there were some smart tractors okay some of them did choose to go this way anyway okay so i am uh it's all all is not in vain okay we have some intelligent drivers and some jerks in this group okay it's not quite ready for farming yet i know i just keep saying i'll come back later and then i just have to keep showing you things i've got the roundabout area here design they're not done building it but it's kind of designed it in um hello frame rates let's pause it real quick so what we have is uh regular old asphalt road here going up and this is a one-way street they also have a bypass here let's them come over here most of the cars that go this way have wanted to go up this road and or or this direction so the bypass here is going to be used a lot then of course the roundabout exists and then i've split the gas stations i'm hoping that this helps alleviate some pressure so this gas station will serve this road and this gas station will serve the roundabout this is going to be a one way that brings people from this direction to this direction and then obviously this remains a one way in this direction since this road here is a one way in this direction and same thing with this one um so this is going to remain a one way but it, right now it's a two-way because i need that detour so i've got two-way streets here and here even though it wouldn't be normally um, just to give them that alternate route. So hopefully it's, I'm hoping that it would alleviate the pressure over here. And it has done a pretty decent job of that. Actually, yeah, they still line up, but it's, uh, it's better than it was. Believe me, this is, uh, actually really tame compared to what it was. This, however, is still a major problem. So we're going to need to implement roundabouts over here too. <laughs> There's no other way, no other way to do it. Um, I'm going to have to do it. And that means tearing down some buildings. Um, what I'm thinking of doing here is uh it's a pretty dramatic pretty radical idea here but i think it would probably be good because almost everything here is personal cars right what i'm thinking of doing is removing this entire block of houses cutting this road and uh making this the roundabout right here and the cars will all enter in and exit, whatever, right? So we'll have, um, cause right, right now this is a two way street. This is a one way street in this direction. This is a one way street in this direction. Uh, I would like to modify that a little bit and have one way street, this direction, one way street, this direction. But I also have to tweak how this road works. If I'm going to do that. Uh, the other option is to just simply have two way streets on both, but the roundabout of course is only going to be a one way. So that it creates a little bit of complexities here, but I think we can fix this traffic with minimal problems if I just simply erase this block from existence. So 12, 24, 48, 
you know, we'll have like 96 people displaced, about 100 people displaced. And honestly, like, they can find a place. <laughs> there's no, there's no place for them to go. So they'll probably just leave my Republic. My population is 58,325. We have over 2,200 people without a flat. It'll be over 20, almost 2,400 people if I displace these guys. And so we have a lot of escapes every month and that's okay. Escapes because of no housing is fine. It's when they escape because of not having a job or unmet needs or things like that. But if you're just, if you simply have a too high population for how many houses you have, this is a good problem to have. It means that you can build new housing somewhere and immediately have in Republic, potentially loyal, educated workers, right? The people who are part of your culture already, who most likely have uh, already have a radio, already have a television, etc. Those type of people, those types of people who have built themselves up to have stuff already from your Republic, they can just move into those houses immediately, right? And, and that's what we're going for here. What we don't want, and this is the unfortunate part about having not enough housing, is that also these people will b get their televisions and get their radios, and then they'll leave, which means that stuff is no longer in your public, which means you have to make more of it to replace it to feed this, to give to somebody else, right? So, like, it's that's the downside. But, uh, yeah, Zernowski's a, a big-ass mess, okay? <laughs> Just... Just too many personal cars. Just way too many was sold. Uh, we sold about 200 of them here. Uh, and that was in addition to like the ones I already had. I mean, it, I, I wanted to stress my system. And indeed I have. I have stressed it out too far, man. And most of this, again, is because of this detour. Uh, it, it's just because they can't go this way. They're, they're getting alternate routes and they're all jamming into here. And uh, that's why my un unemployment rate is 6%. It should be roughly 3%. But every time somebody sits in traffic for too long and their car despawns, uh, they don't make it to work and therefore they're unemployed, right? So, yeah. That stuff's going to work itself out. <laughs> Once we get the... I have a lot of road construction to do, but I want to get this going first. I want to get make sure that all of this is going first. Just wanted to update you on that while it was still fresh. I'll see you in a second. Look at this. Look at this view real quick, though. Just like, look at this view real quick, all right? I mean, and we can't see the stuff behind the mountain, but we have progressed. You guys remember episode one? Well, all this was just nothing but a, vi a big valley, a bunch of woods, right? And we turned it into civilization, man. Look at this. I haven't actually just taken a second to look at what we've created so far. Like, I haven't really done that. But, and I wish there was like some kind of smoother motion, you know, cinematic view that I could do, but... This just looks awesome. And it's going to look so much better when this big gap of space right there isn't there. And then, you know, all of this, of course. And then the stuff over there. Right? And then, you know, you, you go this way and you see... Like, we've, we've built a whole lot of stuff. I'm loving this. And then, that's the autosave stopping me. There it goes. Uh, and then, you come all the way over here, right? Let's just zoom out again. All right, we want to get up high, zoom out again. All right, you get over here, and it's just like, yeah, we built this. We built this city, huh? We built this city on rock and roll. <laughs> I mean, that's what I feel like. I've been, rock and roll, man. This has been a wonderful experience so far. And I, uh, computer CPU pending, I'm just getting started. I'll see you guys in a second. I will be uh, taking this road right here and making it asphalt at some point. But uh, for now, I'm fine with the gravel. It was the quickest way to get it out there. And a bunch of these tractors are going to start turning into the fields right here. Uh, we have queued up all the medium fields first. So they'll do those. And then they move to the larger fields in accordance with the order that we clicked. So this is the first field. Uh, even though these ones are starting to get farmed first because they're closest. This is the first one in the list. And then these guys will go over here. What? Zernowski City Hall got destroyed by a fire? I mean... I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> I mean, no nothing can get here. You know, the fire trucks can't reach it. You know what? That's fine. All right, that's fine. You know why? Because Zernowski City Hall was facing the wrong direction anyway. All right, the road connection was on this side. 
and it needed to be on this side the entire time i've had this thing wrong so you know what this is the blessing in disguise <laughs> we're gonna you know we'll, we'll, we got insurance right it's fine everything's good we'll just get is yeah zernoski demos on the case right we'll just get the demo oh they can't reach it well they can't reach it how do i demolish this <laughs> wait a minute can they not reach it because of this hold on just, just suspend this cancel this hold on can you reach it now really so you guys wait the game's programmed so that you'll build off of the walking paths but you won't demo off the walking paths does this mean i have to demo this stuff in order to well wait, how would i demo this then it only connects to a walking path that's silly no way no way i'm blown away by that that's crazy how they can't reach this i don't know what to do about that you're telling me that no offices are in range for this i can't just go over to like a random demo office and say hey take out this no no connection with this construction exists are you kidding me so i'm gonna have to take these two things out you know this might be an opportunity <laughs> we got all right hear me out all right we got this this all the walking paths I really don't want to I really don't want to destroy the restaurant you see where I'm going with this though two roads eh <laughs> not these single ones huh? oh my gosh uh certainly we could do the roundabout here though right we could just say city hall doesn't exist and in place we put the roundabout right here we have to gut a lot of stuff but I think it's worth it just as long we can't move the heat exchanger so like that's just too much work to move the heat exchanger so that's got to stay but other than that um i don't know i mean I, I gotta get this connected somehow maybe if i if i move the fountain i might be able to ring this around and connect with this building and then put the walking path in between it but even then, like, I don't know how the, the, the demo office won't deconstruct this. Helicopters can't do it, in case you're wondering. I have no idea how helicopters could do it. So, you know what? For now, Zernoski City Hall just sits there. <laughs> I have no idea. We're probably going to have to destroy a whole lot of stuff just to get that thing, uh, just to get all the, the rubble out of there. But I think it's going to be worth it. Like, clearing that area out and redoing the roads in that area is a huge chore but i think it's worth it if we do it controlled i think it's worth it which by the way controlled uh over where to go where to go where to go right over here the roundabout right they finished this and just like i said everybody wants to go right right so they finished this what i'm gonna try and do here is uh i've got this that goes around okay and everybody wants to use it and nobody wants to use this because they're idiots I'm going to have it deviate off right here. So if you're turning left at this light, which pretty much everybody is, you should be getting off this side and then going into this dedicated left turn lane. And to be honest, that left turn lane is probably not going to be long enough. I mean, there's just so many cars flooding in here now because they haven't been able to do it, right? There's just too many cars in Zernoski now. That's all it is. There's just too many cars in Zernoski. I have to... I don't know, move some of these people out of town, you know, get them to get them to live somewhere else or at least at the very least build some more housing so they can live somewhere else. Like, where would we even build that? I mean, I could say City Hall, like, hey, build a building here, but that's the same thing. It's right from this location. What I really need them doing is coming from a different location and which, you know, I guess move them over to Charlotte's North there. Maybe some maybe some houses right here could work. Maybe back in here. Maybe all of this could honestly all of this assuming all those crops are good all of this could be more housing and then the cars the people could move over here uh you know and we we force that to happen by destroying parking lots or just moving cars like for example i say all of you cars you all go 
over here to a different parking lot and then all of them shift over and so people would end up moving uh and that way i can maybe reduce how many cars are here coming this way and increase how many cars are over here coming into this side and that would probably put them in range also for uh chemicals because i think let's see the furthest possible parking lots away from that zernowski area would be this one i guess actually it would be this one because this is a one-way street so it'd be this one but assuming yeah they can't drive this far none of these guys can work chemicals the closest lot that can work chemicals are these guys over here well at least from that furthest away lot from this closer lot we have it looks like about the same situation actually it's different wow this one can't even interesting so this one can't even get over there that's odd yeah, that's really weird oh well the, the point is i think we have another housing expansion we could do right over here there's not a lot of pollution going on over here and also it gives us more workers for meat i think that's what's going to happen all right provided we get those chemical the, these crops up and running and bring it in here I think that's what's going to happen because this train just sits here for a very long time before it's full. Uh, it's almost full here. We should have you drop that off. 87 tons. We should have you drop that off. Uh, but you can see we are now farming on the other side of Charlovinsk. All right. It's happening. There you go. It's uh, it's all good. And uh, we have some trucks here that are going to be ready to go to drop it off over there, which is not quite built yet, but they are we're getting on it. It's almost done. Uh, so we're going to have, I want that location added, right? So I need to, I need to wait for that to be done before I can add that connection. It's got 1900 work days left and that's it. We just need workers here. Yeah. That's the big part problem is workers in this area. I'm building a bus stop right here, by the way, only seven days left in that. Uh, we're going to drop up, drop off workers from Charlobinsk. It's a long bus trip, but they can make it. It'll, it'll work. And, uh, this will allow them to work in the fire department, which already has one truck. I will buy the helicopter, but it's no point in doing that just yet. And then uh, it'll also get people to work in this repair station, which also needs vehicles. And it'll just be... Yeah, these ones. I like these ones for repair vehicles. So we'll just get those three. And then uh, it should... They should be repairing pretty much everything. So I'm going to go 2,000. So it covers the entirety of all the farm areas. And then, uh, you know, obviously they'll fix these ongoing all the time and then they'll cart themselves out to the other offices to fix the other uh, vehicles that are messed up. Probably can do that really easily during the winter since they'll just be sitting around doing nothing. That's the perfect time to fix them up. Yeah, I think so. We're not going to be providing any fuel to these offices, mostly because I'm limited in my connections right now. Um, so, like, I'm just going to keep this gas station at, like, 70%. I'm going to tell them to, to do that so this distribution office right here if you could kindly keep this gas station yep just keep this at like 70 percent instead and that'll just give us a cushion for a whole bunch of people using it because it's probably going to be the busiest gas station in the area for at least a little while i think eventually this one over here will be possibly this one but probably this one because it's so lo it's centrally located to like uh, everyone's drop off point so they'll drop off and then they'll get fuel and then they'll leave that kind of thing we might see this one be pretty busy too since there's going to be more fields out this way um i haven't gone in and figured out the layout i want for the big fields on this side yet but that's okay this uh, this water is probably going to go but another source for workers for this area is possibly to have a little town built out right here instead of building it over here I can build it over here on the water right over here and if i do that then i have workers for the coal as well it's spaced out enough away from every polluter to where it will be clean energy and then we could also potentially get them a tunnel you know how i like tunnels from this side underneath the water over here and pop out right here on this highway that's over here and then obviously i can just pave the rest of this because i haven't paved it yet but uh yeah it's not even not even done right here i bet you this has been a pending construction project for decades 
and I just it just hasn't gotten done because none of these offices have workers. <laughs> uh yeah all right so i think this is gonna wrap up the video for today made some pretty good progress eh huh we're farming this area now i think it's gonna be good um you know obviously we still need that building done but once that's done we start delivering it and then the rail they did eventually destroy that little segment um so i did pop this in and uh we're gonna have to build this power cable right here which none of the offices are on i'm just gonna really quick select that there we go and just get charlevin's workers to it too uh and then the rail construction or the rail builders need to uh come over here and build this segment too i'm not sure why they didn't have that searched but it's okay oh because auto search is off duh there you go so they'll come build that i had to shut the auto search off by the way i had to start, shut it off and then delete all their jobs in order to get them to just demolish this stuff. Like, they wouldn't do it if there's building jobs to do. So, I had to delete all their building jobs and then remove auto search and then tell them to do this. And I just have to turn it back on. So, like, now that when they get this done, they'll auto search the rest of this rail. It is electric all the way out here uh, up to the bridge is where they are. So, they need to finish the bridge and then they have this little crossing right here so trains can, you know, turn around and then... Here they are right in here and then we'll have these four drop-off points when we get really busy right now with the two the two offices we have it's fine to just to have this one and do, drop it off here for now but as we scale up to more and more farms and having more and more trucks to pick it up uh we'll start using these drop-off points back here i think i'm gonna start with let's start with two of them we're gonna go like this we're just gonna have these two to start with and then as we need more, we can add more. Otherwise, I'm not going to commit the resources to them. I don't think there's a, a need to really do that. You know? So we also can't build that, apparently. There we go. Oh, I don't really need the factory connection on that if I'm not going to build it, right? It's not yet. So, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm just kind of delaying now. This is, the, this is the video, huh? I even put the trees in there, huh? I even planted all the trees. And then once the planting season's over, or the sorry, the harvest season, once the harvest season's over and all the trucks and all the tractors and stuff, they're all just sitting around doing nothing. That's when I'll pave this road. So we'll do that during the winter. Now we do all the road construction stuff during the winter. And eventually we'll have uh, a place for fertilizer as well. There's only 811 days left to build that. Yeah, I pretty much gave you the tour. Zernoski's a big problem. I'm going to have to do something about that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you. Bye-bye.